voltage and capacity of the resistor. That is the difference, potential difference from V sub 1 to V sub 4. That's why V sub x, okay, V sub x is V sub 1 minus V sub 4. Yeah, kasi yung V sub 1 to minus V sub 4 is the voltage drop. Kasi voltage drop across resistor 3. Kasi kung kukunin mo yung V sub x dyan, ito, using Ohm's law, ano ba yun? IR, I1, ano resistance times 3. O I1 is equal to V sub x over 3. Pero ano ba yung V sub x na yan? Kung voltage drop across this terminal, tama? Okay, do sa skills nyo, sa simulator, ganun yun. So, ano yung V sub x? V sub 1 minus V sub 4. Okay. So, tuloy natin. Kasi, bakit kailangan natin palitan yung V sub x? Remember, meron na tayong apat na unknown. Kailangan bawasan na nga natin yun. Kaya, kailangan palitan natin itong variable V sub x in terms of V sub 1 and V sub 4 dun sa ating base from our circuit. So, negative V sub 3 plus 3 V sub 1 minus V sub 4 plus V sub 4 equals 0. Simplify natin yan. So, negative V sub 3 plus 3 V sub 1 minus 3 V sub 4 plus V sub 4 equals 0. Okay, combine like terms. Nasa na yung V sub 1? Ayon, 3 V sub 1 na una. And then V sub 3 minus. And then V sub 4. V sub 4 is negative 3 plus 1. So, minus 2 V sub 4 equals 0. So, this is our equation 4. So, we have 4 equations for a known. Okay? Nawala na yung V sub x natin. But, sabi ko nga, it's better na i-convert na lang natin. Okay? I-convert natin yung mga equations natin, yung set of equations natin, from 4 to 2. Sulat natin yung iba. Okay? I-write ko lang na. So, yung equation 1 natin, 5V1, okay? plus V sub 2 minus V sub 3 minus 2 V sub 4 equals 60. This is our equation 1. 5 V1 plus V sub 2 minus V sub 3 plus minus 2 V sub 4. So, kung nag-lecture kayo, masusundan nyo ito. No? Kung hindi naman, balikan nyo siya. 4, yung equation 2 natin, 4 V sub 1 plus 2 V sub 2 and 2 V sub 2 Minus 5 V sub 3 minus 16 V sub 4 equals 0. Okay, 4, okay, 1, 2, V2, minus v, 5 V sub 3 and 16, negative 6. Okay, tapos meron tayo equation na, equation 3, so V1 minus V2 equals 20. Ayan, this is equation 3. Ayan, apat na. 4 equations for unknowns. Again, we can use 4 by 4 matrix and then mag-expansion of minor style but that is another topic in uh, algebra. No? So, I prefer na uh, i-convert na lang natin from 4 by 4 maging 3 by 3 na lang tayo. No? So, anong gagawin ko? Ito, from this equation 3, palitan na lang natin no? yung ating mga V sub 2. Okay, lipat mo yan. So, magiging sa kabila, V sub 1 minus 20. 3.1. Ito, ito ngayon, palitan lahat natin ng V sub 2. Okay, yung mga may V sub 2 natin. 1, may V sub 2 ba dito? Yung number 4 natin, ah, wala. So, okay na yan. Ito meron, at saka yun. Palitan natin yung 1 and 2 natin. Yung mga V sub 2 natin, palitan natin in terms of V sub 1. Now, sa ganun, puro V sub 1, V sub 3, and V sub 4 yun. Uh, equations natin. So, we have three equations, three unknowns. Para makuha natin yung V sub 2, maku makukuha natin yung kapag nakuha na natin yung V sub 1. Balikan lang natin yung equation 3.1. So, substitute 3.1 to 1. Ayan. Substitute natin yan. So, 5 V sub 1 plus ito yon. Ano yung V sub 2 natin? Ito. V sub, okay. Palitan kong kulay para makita yun. Palitan natin. Okay. Ano yun? V sub 1 minus 20. Ito yung ano? V sub 2. Okay. Balik. Minus V sub 3 plus 2 V sub 4 equals 60. Okay. Ito yung equation 1 natin. Okay. 
Kapag sinimplify mo yan, isa-simplify ko na lang siyang diretsyo. Okay? Kapag sinimplify natin yan, ang makukuha natin ay... Uh, sige na nga, pagkita na natin para walang cut. Plus V sub 1 minus 20 minus V sub 3 plus V sub 4 equals 60. Okay. So, combine like terms. 6 V sub 1 minus V sub 3 uh -huh, plus 2 V sub 4 equals 20. 20 at saka 60. Positive kasi ito eh. If the 20 transpose, positive. So, that is 80. So, ito na yung unang equation natin na gagamitin. So, ito. Ay. I-box ko sila para hindi malilikaw. Okay, this is equation. Galing siya kay equation 1. So, magiging 1.1. Yan, gagamitin natin mamaya yan. Doon sa ating matrices. So, 6V1 minus V sub 3 plus 2V sub 4 plus 80. Next, ano pa? Okay. So, okay na to, no? Napalitan na natin ito. Next, ito naman. Palitan natin to. Okay, after noon, okay na. 1, 2, tapos ito wala lang mga V sub 2. Magagamit natin yan. Okay, so substitute. 1.1, uh, okay, 2, I am in 3.1, 2, equation 2. So, 4, V sub 1 plus 2. Ano yung ano natin? V sub 1 minus... V sub, uh, v sub 1 minus 20. Okay. Uh, ano pa? Minus 5. V sub 3 minus 16. V sub 4 equals 0. Ay, hindi na nagkasya. Okay. Pero ano yan? I didn't simplify. 4 V sub 1 plus 2 V sub 1 minus 40. Okay, minus 5 V sub 3 plus minus 16 V sub 4 equals 0. And then simplify natin, combine like terms. So 4, 5, 6, 6 V sub 1 minus 5 V sub 3 and then minus 16 V sub 4 equals negative 40. Or negative 40 transpose equals 40. Okay, so this is our... Uh, Second equation. Ayan. So, ano na yung mga equations natin? We have V1, V3, V4. So, nawala. Tinanggal natin yung V sub 2. Kasi mamaya, gagamitin na lang natin ito. Ito. Gagamitin natin yan to find V sub 2. Makukuha natin uh, sa unang uh, Kramer's rule natin si V1, V3, V4. V1, V3, V4, and V1, V3, V4. Ayan yung 3 by 3 matrix natin. Ayan. So, yan yung ating uh, gagamitin. Okay. So, kunin natin yung ating mga... Uh, sige, susulat ko na lang muna dito, pansamantala. Ano ba yung ating mga constants? So, that is... Unahin na natin yung 6, negative 1, ito. 6, negative 1, and negative 2. 6, negative 1, and negative 2. Tapos yung pangalawa is 6, negative 5, and negative 16. Tapos yung pangatlo ay pangatlo. 3, negative 1, negative 2. Ayan. Tapos ano yung mga V natin? V1, walang V2 ha? V sub 3 and V sub 4. And then, ano yung mga constant? Constant natin ay 80, 40, and 0. Ayan, 6, 6, uh, 3, negative lahat. Ayan. So, sige. Gawin natin dito. So, idagdagan natin. I-redraw na lang natin. So, ulitin ko. 6, 6, 3. And then, negative 1. Uh, negative 5. Negative 1. Negative 2. Negative 16. Negative 2. Okay. So, V sub 1, V sub 3, V sub 4. Okay. Equals 80, 
40 and 0. Ayan. Um, take note, yung loop 3 pala, hindi ko na siya ginamit. Hindi na ako nag-loop dito kasi okay na yung mga equations natin. No? Uh, Nakapag-produce na ako ng 4 equations na paraanan natin para magkaroon tayo ng 3 by 3 matrix. So, hindi ko na kailangan pang mag-KVL dito sa loop 3. Although, dun sa libro, this problem is based from the book of Sadiku, our main reference. No? Again, our discussion sa ating YouTube channel on Electrical Circuits 1, lahat ng mga problems doon ay galing sa libro ni Sadiku. Itong problem na to ay may discussion sa libro ni Sadiku. Yung kanyang discussion ay sinama niya pa yung loop 3 and then ganito rin yung kanyang final matrix. Okay? V1, V3, and V4. Na-disarrange lang. Uh, pero siya rin naman eh. Ang kasab matrix, property ng matrix kasi kasama yon Okay. So, yung mga sagot, siya rin ang makukuha natin. So, you can use uh, the conventional method in finding the determinants of this 3 by 3 matrix or you can use your calculator. Ang D natin dyan ay negative 18. Tapos, ang D sub 1 natin is D sub 1 is negative 480. Ang D sub 2, hindi D sub 2, ah, D sub 3. Kasi para kay 3 yan. Is negative 3, 1, 2, 80. 3, I mean, 3,000, sorry. Negative 3, 1, 2, 0. And yung ating D sub 4 is 840. Okay, 4 V sub 1. Ano na yung mga V sub 1 natin? That is D1. Okay, D1 over D. Negative 480 over negative 18. Okay, there is 26 point, 26.67 volts. And then V sub 2 is, I mean V sub 3. V sub 3 is V sub 3 over D. Uh, negative 3, 1, 2, 0 over negative 18. V sub 3 is 173.33. And then V sub 4 is D sub 4 over D. Uh, 840 over negative 18. So, there is negative. Or this is 6.67. Okay, so this is our answer. No voltages lang naman ang pinapahanap. Okay, kulang pa. Kailangan pa rin natin pala. Yung number, ano pang number? Ang, ano pang no voltage? Yung V sub 1. Ang V sub 1, from an equation yon 3.1. Okay, V sub 2. Kailangan natin V sub 2. V sub 1 siya minus 20. So, that is, V sub 1 is 26.67 minus 20. Okay, V sub 2. V sub 2 is 6.67 volts. This is our node voltage. So, that's it for problem number 2. Now, it's your turn. So, this is our sit work number 2 using... Nodal analysis with voltage sources solve the following problems. We have two problems here. So, sa so problem 1, uh, required na hanapin yung V sub 1 and through V sub 3, meaning to say V sub 1, V sub 2, and V sub 3. We have uh, dependent voltage source dito, tsaka independent voltage source, plus meron tayong 2 ampere current source. For number 2, it is also required to find node voltages V sub 1 through V sub 3. Okay, we have one voltage source here. Tapos dito sa gitna, meron tayong 5 ampere voltage source. So, galingan nyo.